All right, people, welcome back to another video. All right, guys, so I just got a video for all the newcomers. Just, just got the Legion Go. So this is just a beginner's guide for anyone that just got it and you want to know how to use the system, what everything does and stuff like that. So I'm going to go through most of the, the features on the device and explain certain stuff, but it's, this is not going to be in depth uh, review. This is just a basic review for like anyone that just come into the device and just want an overview of all the stuff that's going on and how to use the device, right? So let me just get into it real quick and then I show you what's going on. All right, the first thing I wanna talk about is the charger. When you get a device, you will get this charger in the box and it is 65 watts, it's 65 watts. So if you're gonna get like a different charger, maybe like if you're trying to buy a third party charger, then you should get a charger that's above 65 watts so that it charges the device efficiently. If you get anything below that, then it might not charge the device or it might charge it too slow and then you're not getting the best experience. So if you're trying to use your phone charger, that won't work. Most likely that won't charge the device because the battery is too big for that and it's not made for those type of smaller chargers. So 65 watts or, or higher, if you get like 100 watts, then that's good. That will definitely charge the device way faster than the 65 watts that they gave out the box. Next thing, when you get the device, you also get a case, which is this case. And in the case, you get this device right here. This is for FPS mode. Also, if you look at the bottom right here, there's a hole where they say you could charge the device while it's in your case. Nobody's recommend you guys doing that, like to charge the device while it's in the case, especially if it's if you zipped it up because the device might overheat. So if, you, if you're going to do that, make sure the device is off. That's the safest way to do it. And then you plug it in inside the, inside the case so that it could charge. But I wouldn't recommend that. Charge it outside of the case. That's the safest way to go because you don't want to plug it in and when you come back your device is not turning on because it's overheat while you're charging all right so next thing is once you turn the device on it's going to actually do a couple of stuff like to set up your device so remember this is a full pc it's not like the steam deck or xbox or playstation 5 where as you turn it on everything is up and running and you can get to your games it's going to ask you to set up windows log into certain stuff like into your microsoft account um do some updates and stuff like that just get through that and then once you get to this screen where you can log in and everything first couple things you want to do i mentioned this in a couple of my videos already you want to make sure your system is up to date so you want to go to here you can type update then you go to check for updates you want to click this i mean see i got an update right now so you want to it's going to say check for updates once you click that it's going to do like a search and search for the latest windows update you want to make sure your system is up to date guys because just keep your system running as efficiently as possible and as smooth as possible so you need to make sure everything is up to date next thing you want to do go to amd app you go in here and you want to then you want to go to gaming you go to graphics you go in here then you got radiant super resolution and you got radiant image sharpening most people like to use the radiant image sharpening that's the best one to go with I was just trying out a game, testing out a game with a radiant super resolution, but this one is the best one to use for now. Also, remember in my other video, I showed you guys integral scaling. You could also turn that on as well. You can use integral scaling with one of these, which is radiant super resolution or radiant image sharpening. So you can use them together. As I said before, I'm not going to go in depth, but you want to make sure integral scaling and GPU scaling is on. For you to get the best experience so basically what integral scaling does is upscale the image to your device to make it look better so you can put a re lower resolution inside the game so that you get better fps better performance but a better image so it upscale 800p to like the screen resolution which is like 1600p on the space settings so you want to set space settings to 1600p and in game to 800p for now i won't recommend you using both of them together which is integral scaling are one of these because that takes a toll on your cpu so i'd recommend for right now since you're new to system to just go with radiant image sharpening that's good enough next thing you want to make sure your graphics driver is up to date so you would click on the quick menu option you want to go here then you want to go to lenovo diagnostics when you get to here you want to click detect device when you just get the system it won't detect it so you have to Hit scan and it's gonna ask you to add your device and stuff like that. Blah 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 blah. Once you do that, then then it will every time you come in here, it will detect your device. And then you want to go to graphics. You want to go to device and software. 
and then you want to go to you could do automatic scan and then it will scan for the latest bios and that will keep your bios up to date they can install it if you want to select a specific driver you would go here and then you would go to graphics processing unit gpu and then it will show you the latest driver from lenovo and this is the way you could download it and install it to your system some of the time the latest drivers that lenovo have available for the device is not the latest from amd so you could also update your system to the latest driver that amd releases but sometimes it has a little small bugs lenovo like to make sure their device drivers are are efficient enough before they release it so they usually take the the drivers in-house test it out tweak it to their liking and then they release it to their system but it's up to you if you want to do that go directly to amd or from lenovo but the latest one as of now is december 25th you can download that and install that. Once you do that, how you check to see if it's installed, you go to search, then you go to device manager, type device, then you go to device manager. Once you get here, you go to display and adapter, click that, open up that, then you go to, you go to drivers, and then we'll show you the latest driver that you have. See, it says driver version 3102224. So that's the latest one I have from Lenovo. And if you want to revert back to your older driver, you could uninstall it and then go back to the previous one you have because some people are having issues with some games with some drivers so if you see that you have a driver that's not working out for you then you can do that and revert back to your older driver so as you can see it's the same driver 3302244 or whatever it is but the date on the device manager is kind of off i'm not sure i don't know why it does that if you look the date is saying that but this driver i have that come out december 25th all right so next thing i want to show you like where to get your games so there's a lot of places you could get your game from and you get the game same games from different launchers and at different prices different deals depending on what's going on so i'm gonna show you the best ones like the most popular ones that people are using so if you go to legion space it will it will show you like all the ones that they have available once you go in here you click here and it will show you all the launchers these are not all the launchers that there is on the platform. There's many more out there, but the main ones are Xbox, Epic, Ubisoft, Steam, and then you got Battlenet. It's not shown here, but you can also get that. Most people play all the Call of Duty stuff on Steam. If you go here, you could download it, click it. It will bring you straight to the website, and then you can download it to your device. For Battlenet, you go just go to the internet, and then you can go to Battlenet.com, and then you could download it from here, and then you could purchase the game which is warzone and whatever you're playing i use steam for warzone that's the best one for me because i have other games in there as well so that's why i have to keep most of the stuff together and ubisoft i have the division 2 avatar as i said most of these games you could get on a lot of different launchers epic game is a good one to have because most of the time they got free stuff like free games they also got like deals to get discount discount on games and stuff like that so epic game is a good choice as well they also got xbox which is the xbox store where you can get all your xbox stuff xbox game pass xbox game pass is a must because whenever you get the device you get the free three months of xbox game pass so you can set it up you also got to set up automatic payment for the xbox game pass but once you set it up if you're not trying to keep it you have to set it up at the initial time of you doing it they could just delete your payment option right after that and they could just get the three months they could cancel it i guess you don't have to keep it it's up to you if you want to keep it you could also end the subscription at any time but this is a good one to have because you get a lot of free games as well you also got the all the big games like starfield you get fifa right now i'm playing uh tomb raider on there so you get a lot of games and a lot of features and what i'm hearing is next year which is this year, I mean 2024, Call of Duty should be should be coming out on Xbox Game Pass store because they purchased Activision, so they got all rights for that now. All right, so next is Legion Space. Legion Space is basically the launcher or the game hub or whatever they want to call it that Lenovo has for their device. All your stuff should be here once you download them, like all your games and stuff like that. Once you go to library, you should see all your games, but most of the time this is not working. It's not showing all my stuff. I don't know, like maybe it's like a bug or something. But usually I just go into the eventual launchers and launch the games out that way. That's what most people do. And most people don't really really use the Legion space like that because there's so much like stuff that's missing. But it's getting there, as I said before, it's getting there. But this is where you'd see your launchers and your games. You should. 
you can keep clicking this and maybe it might pull, pull up all your games but it don't for me if you click this button right here this is a quick menu button this shows you like your tdp so with tdp that's just telling you how much power is going towards your processor so that you get the best performance best fps best quality so the higher it is the better you should get on your game while playing so you got quick balance performance custom custom it could go all the way up to 30 that's the that's what i mostly play on on 30 watts but not all games you need that 30 watts for so you don't have to go to high up to you but i'm always on 30 and then if you're on 30 i recommend you turn your full fan speed on fan speed curve should be coming out soon a new update where you could mess with your fan curve to make it go up and down yeah play around with it just like with a with the Asus Rogue Ally. So you also got OS Power Mode. That's just mostly for the system itself and how everything is running in the background, like efficiently or not. So I leave it inefficient and TDP goes mostly towards the game while you're playing your game. So if you're playing smaller games, like uh, Quiet is good, like indie games, but depends. Balance is mostly, you keep the, the wattage down because the higher you go up, the more power you're using and the faster your battery will die. Performance would be like the best one out of the box where you get the best performance from the game and then you got custom where you could put it all up 30 and then that boosts everything overall and then you could also got custom where you, where you could customize like a tdp for a specific game or whatever you're doing you could do that as well uh performance matter that's just showing like how like everything is running while you're using your system you got cpu gpu vram and ram showing you go to settings this is where you could change the display quality you could change the refresh rate, your brightness, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, sound. You also got a frame monitor. You can turn it on, on and off. And as you can see, it's showing it in the left corner right here. Then you can also turn on radiant super resolution on here directly on the device. Once you open Legion Space now, it's where you got all the other stuff like settings. As I said, I'll show you library already. You also got games from Legion Space where you could buy. They got their discount stuff like that. But I haven't seen anyone that purchased anything from here. Now, this still needs some work. I see the artwork is not ever showing. So this still got some bugs and stuff like that. But if you go to settings, you'll see all your settings stuff. You also got Android games, Game Store, which is down here, and Game Cloud. But if you go to settings, this is where you see all the meat and all the stuff you need for your device. So this way you could change the performance. But you got uh you got general see uh, you can turn on boot legion space when you turn it on and off you see your current version you can see about like your system if you go to performance this way you could customize the tdp again full fan speed turn on radiant re super resolution if you go to network it's where you connect to your wi-fi bluetooth then you got display so you can mess with your resolution but you can also do that from the quick menu and then your refresh rate as well you got a voice, this way your volume and your microphone you can mess with if you got anything connected. See, I got my Yeti connected, so it's showing that. You can switch to your Array Realtek. That's a built-in mic on your device. On your controller, this way you can customize your dead zones. I got a dead zone video already showing you how to change everything to make it more efficient while you're playing your games, right? Also, uh, turn on your touchpad, you adjust your sensitivity, and all your function keys and update controllers and all your basic stuff. And here you go to customize. So you customize your RBG lights around your thumbsticks. So you can see your disk space. I got the one terabyte version now. I had the 512 before, it wasn't enough. So I updated. So I used 343 out of 941. Yeah, so that's basically for Legion Space. If you have any questions, just drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think or what's your question or if i'm missing anything guys all right so let's just give you a quick overview of fps modes as i said before i don't really use this mode but i'm just going to show you how to set it up how to get it up and running all right so first you just gotta detach the controllers if you look behind here there's some buttons behind here you just gotta press it there's a button right here to detach the controller if you do that you just press it pull all right here press it pull and detach it so in this controller this is the main one you got fps starter right here once you put it in the the thing then you could start using it so when you set it up it's gonna be right click left click either i'm not even sure but i'll show you in a minute these are two buttons that you could use to right click left click so if you want to put in fps mode then you need this device right here you should just put it in here and it snaps in 
it's magnetic once you put it in the snaps in just like that then you gotta activate it just press click this button right here turn it on then you're up and running so how you would use it it's just like that and you would have on the screen you see it i don't know if you guys can see the mouse moving because it's kind of the screen is kind of bright and then in theory when you're playing game you can use it like a mouse and your fps shooter and stuff like that so i never really tested out in games because it's not my style i never used i never used mouse i'm not a mouse type of person i'm a control type of person so you could test it out and see how it works you could also use this to navigate the system as well to do basic stuff so if you're into that then you can do that so you can also adjust the settings like the sensitivity and everything like that for the fps mode mode for the fps mode so it would go to legion space then you go to controller then you see right here button mapping for the profile fps default you go in here and then you could mess around with the settings and then it shows you how to use it and what all the buttons are for and then you could change the you could change the layout and everything like that as i said before i never really messed with this it's not my type of thing and you could restore the default and it shows you what every button does and you could also remap buttons because i look right here so yeah guys so that's the basic setup mode for the overall system for beginners that's just coming to the legion go so yeah so if i miss anything just let me know in the comment section down below hit that like button if you like what i'm posting sub to the channel for more awesome content guys so if you got any questions also drop a comment ask me if i don't know Someone else will answer the question down in the comment because there's a lot of people that's on my channel that's very knowledgeable about certain stuff, Windows and the system itself. So yeah, so if you like what I'm posting, hit that subscribe button. If you don't, hit that thumbs down button and stuff like that. I appreciate all the love that I've been getting over the past months, days, and years. And thanks for tuning in, guys. And let me know what you think in the comment section down below again. Remember to always say health is wealth, peace and love. I'm out, guys.